My name is Leif Martin Olofsson and I'm the founder and the chief designer of Martin Loudspeaker Company. Martin is this year's 20 years anniversary. I started the company in 1998 and it's owned by it's a family company. So we are three brothers that's owning it and we all work together. So my big brother Jürgen is the CEO. I'm a middle brother and uh, I do all the speaker designs and my our third kid brother is doing the graphical design. Yes, it's quite simple. Uh, it's just to make it as close to reality as possible. So I guess I'm not alone about that philosophy. But mine, uh, it's also a must have to get the real live feeling, to real, uh, to get the musical uh, music come through you need uh, details a lot of details you can't miss any detail otherwise you lose the live feeling it's hard to tell because since i want to do as close as reality as possible you can say it's very very neutral and the latest technology we use with the cell technology is so low distortion the loudspeaker doesn't have any signatures so to speak so you hear everything behind or before like amplifiers cables and of course the recording it's very very neutral i don't want to do a signature sound or something like that that's not my way Uh, we work very closely together with uh, Akaton that do the drivers, the ceramic drivers, diamond drivers mostly. And uh, that's a key point to use these, uh, the best drivers in the world, uh, in my opinion. And we do uh, developing together, so now we are developing in drivers together. All the drivers uh, that we use is special made for Martin. That's a key, but also the, all the components is very, very important. Like a cabinet, for instance, like in a content series, we use carbon fiber laminate and that's not just for because it's cool carbon fiber it's because it's, it's the best material for cabinets to make and so forth for, for instance the crossover components is very very important also and the cabling and all all small details is very important yeah These new drivers called the cell drivers or cell technology. The thing in this is compared to the old ones is that the uh, you can see on the base drivers, for instance, it's a dome instead of a concave member, and that's because to, we want to have an acoustical center of a driver in the same plane as a baffle. As a, so. The tweeter, mid-range and bass have the same acoustic center. And then we can use the first order crossover and get perfect timing. So all the frequencies, the treble, mid-range and bass coming at the same time to hear. Almost no other loudspeaker can do that. There are a lot of manufacturers, famous manufacturers, but they, they can't do it because the drivers can't handle the first order crossover and that kind of timing. So that's the main thing with the new drivers. But also the magnet system is different, different on this. We have a huge voice cord, so we have better control of a membrane, much less distortion. That's the uh, second thing with the new drivers. Yeah. That we're playing on this show, it's a Mingus 20, we call it. And that's because of the 20 years anniversary we have today, uh, this year. Uh, my first loudspeaker was named Mingus, that I designed, that I presented in 1998, it was Mingus. So this is a homage to the original Mingus. Totally different speaker, but still. So uh, that's, uh, that's why the wing is planted. And it's uh, very similar to Mingus Quintet that came two years ago. But the difference between the Mingus Planted and Mingus uh, Quintet is that it's uh, original Yorama statement cables inside and a bit, little bit better crossover components. And then you have some design features as well that are a little bit different. The high market is, is not really growing. In the Western world, it's actually getting less. But we have, of course, a very big country, mainly in China. Uh, that's the high end, still growing. But it's, it's quite, uh, I think it will be quite good. It, it's picking up now in the Western world as well. We are getting better and better, selling better in Europe as well. So, yeah, and I think uh, the younger people also start to enjoy quality sound more and more and that's because the young people use headphones and uh, but they use from beginning we use very cheap ones that's coming with a phone for instance uh, it's fine but then we try maybe a little bit more expensive one oh it's better and then we try a little bit then so when they grow up they will probably buy 
very nice loudspeakers as well because they understand that they can get better quality if they pay a little bit more. Then this sounds like live, live music. When they play a song in a system like this, have to show. And it, it's like they are the musicians are standing, staying there, or a singer, or whatever. It sounds like they are there. That's a definitely a good sound. And it could be, then I get back to, well, to get a good sound and a live feeling, you need details. If you have a system that takes away the details, it could sound good, but not live. So that's the definition, I think. I'm very happy to be here in Thailand and Bangkok at the show here. It's the first time for me, so I enjoy it very much and I hope you will buy my loudspeakers because they are quite good, or very good, I would say. <laughs>